Hey, what's up? This is Kelly with North Commerce, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how North Commerce is going to actually work. So, this video will kind of give you a good idea of what to expect from North Commerce when you're building your next e commerce site. So, if you saw my previous video, you kind of have a general idea of how our roadmap is going to work up until our closed beta, and then once we start our closed beta, we'll start slowly releasing the full North Commerce builds. And you'll be able to test these on your sites and start building e commerce sites. So, that'll be exciting. So, some of the key differences between North Commerce and WooCommerce is one, we're going to use custom tables. So, that means we don't need to serialize our data. And in turn, what that'll mean is we'll have faster query times, basically, faster response times. We'll be able to um, get data quicker so that um, all that information for your products, um, your information for your checkouts, all that stuff will be faster with, uh, with North Commerce. Um, we have an improved user interface and user experience just overall. Um, so it'll be much, much easier for you to manage your own e-commerce store, or it'll be, a, a, so, it'll be so much easier to pass over the finished e-commerce site to a client. My background is in freelance and I've done dozens of e-commerce sites for clients and handing it over to them has always been the toughest part. It's like um, you kind of can make up some video tutorials for them and they will we'll never watch them and then they will email you constantly about how to do something or where to find an order or, f find, or how to add a product or something like that and so um, this will make it much, much easier uh, just to manage this, the, the admin side of the store. So it'll be really nice. Um, this is huge. Number three is you'll be able to create custom e-commerce components. So the current state of WooCommerce is awesome. If you're a developer and you know um, how to build uh, pages and work with um, WooCommerce, you could go from there or maybe you can have a, a starting theme that you like I know a lot of you do but um, for for people who, who like using builders you're kind of limited to um, whatever the builder can do so I know a lot of builders like oxygen Divi Elementor have some pretty awesome tools when it comes to customizing the product page um, but then kind of leave it up to you to figure out the cart page or the checkout page or even like the um, the cart in, in the navigation, um, you know, you have to scour around for other plugins to customize the checkout flow if you want to and stuff like that. So it kind of makes it a headache. So you'll be able to customize every e-commerce component that you could think of on your website. So that's product pages, cart pages, checkout pages, um, the actual cart icon uh, on your in your navigation any featured products you want to embed like on your home page, um, galleries, um, archive pages, all of, all of the above you'll be able to customize inside of North Commerce with our micro builder which I'll show in the next slide. Uh, and then the last thing is all those e-commerce components you can control where those go via short codes so um, you create your cart page that you want and then you just embed the short code and it's as easy as that. You want to know where the, you want to customize where the, the checkout page goes or you want to add um, uh, various elements on that page as well and then add the cart underneath those. Just copy the short code. Um, the only place where you really won't be using short codes is the product pages. Basically, you'll be able to customize all the product pages based on category, um, product type, product name even. And, um, and so you have full control over what those will look like. So um, if you haven't yet, head over to um, commerce.northplugins.com and you can kind of, and you everything I show you right now, you can go on there, log in and um, get a preview. So I'm gonna go over here and just um, kind of show off what we've been working on. So if you haven't seen the um, the overview, this will this will have all of your, it's basically your dashboard, so it's all your analytics, total sales, total orders, top products sold, top coupons used, your average order value, um, your returning customer rates, your total subscriptions, you'll be able to manage all of those subscriptions 
right within the dashboard, meaning um, you can see when renewals will happen, you can see when you can cancel subscriptions, you can pause subscriptions, um, all of that will be managed here. You'll be able to see all your orders right here and the status um, of those. So whether the payment is pending or it's been completed, whether the product has been shipped out and fulfilled, and then if you want some more detail about that particular customer's, um, customer's order, you can always click on that and then see uh, the customer's order. You can manually change from unfulfilled to fulfilled. Like if you're, maybe you're doing some manual services or some calls or something, you can um, always change the status there. And then if you need to know the tracking number or where the package is, you could go into the order and check tracking from here and then see all the products you would like, any sort of customer metadata, the payment method they use, their billing address or whatever. It'll be all here. If you want to issue refunds, you can do that up at the top right by clicking this button. Um, if you want to edit their customer data, you can do that as well. So we can kind of toggle through each of these customers really easily and um, everything loads super fast between customers. Um, so that looks good and then we'll have a timeline here. This will come as um, we release more integrations. So if you're using a, you know, a, a shipping uh, postage provider, um, you will see updates here. If you're using Zapier, you'll be able to see that that Zap Zapier has been fired and kind of get a history of what's going on with this order. Like I said, we want to make it as easy as possible to be able to manage your entire store straight from this dashboard. I, I, we, we know that you use tools um, that help you run your business, but the more you can do here, um, we feel the easier it will be, especially for clients so they don't have to learn four different platforms for one for shipping, one for managing orders, one for um, you know payments and all this stuff. It's just all in one. Um, so that's orders. And you'll be able to sort um, orders easily right here based on their status if you'd like. Now hopping over to products, I know um, a lot of people that have been um, previewing um, the current build we have on here have created products as well. And so these are all those. And you can go in here and kind of sort through all those products. So you can just add a product here by just clicking add product and then choose between one time payment or subscription. So that's really nice. I won't go too much into detail with these because we, we um, I think I do go over this in the other video, uh, but I just kind of want to show you all of this stuff. Uh, discounts hasn't been worked on yet, so don't worry about that. And then uh, one thing I did want to show off was um, our notifications. So these are all the emails that will be sent out based on what happens with the customer. So um, you know, orders been uh, completed, so then the, an order confirmation emails sent out if you um, edit an order, maybe they update their shipping address or something like that. Um, you can update that and then it'll send an automated email letting the customer know that that information has been corrected and so forth. The cool thing about this is you can customize the emails however you'd like. So currently I think I have some uh, placeholder design here. I can click on this little eye icon and um, cool. It looks like um, Someone even uh, did this. This wasn't something I did, so this is awesome. You guys are trying it out. Um, and you can create complete custom um, emails and um, put any any metadata that you want in there. So if you want to put the customer's um, name, what they ordered, their shipping address, their billing address, their order number, their payment method, all of that information, you can just put right in here. So um, that's super nice. And then same thing with SMS. If, you, um, if you'd like, you can... Uh, integrate with Twilio and then Twilio will handle all the um, the SMS messages sent out. But do the same things. You can easily just say like um, your order has been completed. Thanks so much. And then I can add like the full name or something if I wanted to. And then um, that'll be sent out. So I think there's some placeholder text there for it. So that's the placeholder. If you don't have a customer it'll show that. If you do it'll show your, your most recent customer. Um, so that looks good. So go ahead and play with, around with that. Um, I'm not going to hop over to integrations or builder yet. What I want to show you is kind of what we're we're doing on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and click back over to this and um, and show you what our micro builder even is. So I call it a micro builder because it's not it 
it's not a full builder like Divi or, or, or Elementor or Oxygen or something like that. It's just um, building the e-commerce pages. So I call it micro builder because it kind of only focuses on a few set of unique pages or components that you'll have. So this is um, an example of what the builder will look like for our single page checkout forms. So our single page checkout forms are going to be what's released in the closed beta and currently what we have for Divi checkout if you've heard of that. So what will happen is in the closed beta you'll have a you'll be able to create your single page checkout forms and these are awesome for if you're selling digital products or if you're selling um, an online course or if you're um, just selling a, a single product you know there's just like one um, one product and then a few variations or something like that you can sell that um, you can use a single page checkout form and what you'll do is you'll create the form um, you can customize it however you'd like so I'll kind of take you through here um, you know you could add a title a description you'll have all the um, all the elements that you'd want you can customize those and um, come in here and change some text change the color the letter spacing uh, the, the font size um, any sort of margins or, or padding for any of the elements you'll be able to adjust as well whether that's the entire container or the text itself um, if you want to adjust the form size you can do that as well and you can select all of these different components here so so here we'll have everything you could ever want like name, email address, um, ad address for shipping, um, product, so you want to select a product, coupons, uh, a name your price field, so basically if you want to sell something and then have the customer sort of name whatever they want to pay in order to do that, you can um, you can do that, set up a payment method, whether that's Stripe or Molly or PayPal, you can choose those, add order bumps to it, um, you can add any custom fields that you'd like, and um, and build the form however you'd like. So um, that's a single page checkout form. And then what will happen is once you create your form, once you finish any of your um, your e-commerce components, what will happen is a short code will be generated, and you'll be able to see that right here. So I'm going to hop back over to the um, the dev server here, and you'll see that I have. Uh, a checkout form and this is all just placeholder stuff right now we haven't implemented the builder into WordPress yet but what you can see is an example of a completed form so I have you know the product here I have the information about the customer the shipping details um, and then the order total and then the payment method so that's Apple pay Google pay PayPal um, or credit or debit and then um, you can see here I have a I have a short code that will that I would be able to copy and paste onto a page and then that form would appear so you could imagine the same thing would happen with um, you know with carts um, with with upsells you you could embed a little button to do um, upsells if you're creating like sales funnels um, any sort of component that you create inside of our little micro builder then um, you would just copy the short code here and then paste that onto any page that you want. So basically the entire North Commerce plugin gives you the freedom to design however and whatever you want no matter what theme you're using or what builder you're using it will be compatible with every single theme or builder that supports short codes which is literally every single builder and theme. So uh, that's how that will work. So it'll make it so much easier for you to um, to create really cool e-commerce components and then you'll be able to just simply embed them on a page. So that will give you full freedom. Um, if you have questions about how North Commerce will work, um, kind of pass that high level overview I would be more than happy to answer any questions or um, get any feedback you might have um, in the discord 
that's been a great place for all of us to communicate and to share some ideas, to request um, integrations or features. You can do that all in the Discord. If you're not super familiar with Discord at all, it's just a, a, a chat app, basically. It's a big group chat between all of us um, in the pre-alpha, and occasionally we'll talk about kind of issues we, we run into or, uh, or anything like that. So um, that's kind of all that I'm going to show today. But I'm super excited about where we're headed, and I'm excited even more for you guys to try it out. So um, thank you so much. If you have any questions, too, you can always leave a comment on this video, and I'd be more than happy to answer. Thanks so much, and thanks for watching, and I'm excited for you guys to try out North Commerce.